Hey everyone, it's me, Ryer Appledorn, and today I am putting the logo on the side of Farmer Bean's patchwork pickup truck. Um, so I'm going to be cutting the uh, design I made in Illustrator uh, with a vinyl plotter and then applying that vinyl stencil to the side of the model um, and then painting it. And um, so I'm just going to quickly show you how I do that. So we've cut out the design onto this piece of vinyl. Um, you can kind of see it. And now we're going to um, stick it onto the, the door of the truck. Peel off the paper backing, and then it just sticks on like a sticker. And you can be as uh, detailed as you'd like about this. I'm not going to be too precise because I want the look of the truck to be a little ratty. Then you're going to want to slowly peel off this. It's basically masking tape. You want to peel that off very slowly and carefully as to not um, damage the stencil underneath. So now that you've got um, now that you've got the mask off, it's time to weed out where you want the paint on the model to be. So you're going to take um, an X-Acto knife with a fresh blade on it, and you're going to Peel away at the parts where you want there to be paint, like that. So here's one I, you know, I did the other side earlier, so that shows you what's going to look like when you put the paint down. Okay, so now that the stencil is all adhered nice, I, I let it sit for a little bit, maybe about an hour or two, just so the, the glue had a chance to bond with that layer of paint. I was having some problems with it sticking. Uh, but now that it sat for a while, I'm going to paint it. And... Uh, I'm going to be using uh, my Mac Tools uh, double action airbrush and some uh, just false bar rattle can paint that I, I decanted. Um, word of warning, uh, just like when you're laying down uh, masking lines with tape or something, um, paint loves to creep underneath that stencil. It likes to kind of fit into all the nooks and crannies. So I'm going to be going very, very light with the airbrush, very light coats. And this is going to be weathered, so I'm not going for a perfect application. With that, let's uh, open up the air and get started. Okay, so I've masked off most of the, uh, most of the model, just enough. I'm going to be controlling the, the paint enough that not too much delicate masking is needed. And then I'm just going to use very, very light coats to, um, you know, two or three very light coats to put paint on this. Okay, I put that on a little bit thick, but let's see how it turned out. <clears throat> so for me, this is by far the most exciting part, peeling off the mask and seeing how it turned out. The letters look pretty good. We'll just peel that off. Not bad. I have to peel off the rest of the little details. Looks like there was a little bit of overspray up there by the door handle, but after weathering, you're not going to know that that was there. Both sides look pretty good. So now I'll just pull the, uh, pull the little islands out of the letters and we'll see how it turned out. Well, guys, there you go. I, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, not bad looking for a rest, rusty, uh, beat up old truck. Um, I have to weather the paint still, but the model as a whole is coming along really quite well. Uh, I went ahead and I, um, <clears throat> I, uh, put some flats in, or I put some slats in the bad bit of the truck, a little bit of color, um, <laughs> like it needed it. Right. Um, I'm going to, uh, uh, I want to start. I want, I want to make some apple crates to put in the back. Um, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to go about doing that. If anyone has any suggestions, I'd be open to hearing about how I can make uh, 125th scale apple crates and apples to go with it. Um, it only seems fitting for an apple farmer to have um, apples in the bed of his truck. Um, I also uh, I'm going to put an antenna on this. I'm going to stretch out some sprue, put an antenna on, and I'd like to uh, make a small fox's tail. Uh, so if anybody has, anybody has any suggestions as to how to make a 125th scale foxtail, uh, that'd be another detail that I would love to put 
um, on this truck. Uh, here's the engine that I was working on yesterday. Um, got the wiring all put in. It looks uh, pretty good. I, I uh, admittedly wasn't as clean with it as I would um, prefer to have been, but I was kind of working with what I had. So what are you gonna do? The next step on this is I have to I have to paint the uh, the belt, and then I have to. Um, you know, finish up with the weathering, but that's going to look really good inside this thing, and uh, next step is, uh, like I said, the detail work for the back of the bed, and try to figure out how to make that tail, and then uh, detailing the interior, and final assembly, and this model will be done. Other than that, the projects are coming along quite nicely. Um, the 32 Ford, which, you know, it's it's on its way there. I, I um, Need to figure out, you know, what I need to do as far as weathering is concerned. Uh, we'll get to that. Uh, and then um, I also am working on a new beastie, but we'll talk about this one later. Uh, I promise. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, and uh, I look forward to hearing your thoughts about this model and any advice. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.